Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to be filming everything that I eat today. But first things first, I am gonna to head to the gym and probably do an upper body session. But otherwise, it's a pretty chill day today. I'm gonna to be just at home doing some editing. It happens to be a Friday today. So yeah, I'll take you through all of the food that I eat and what else I get up to. And this is my little outfit of the day today. So these leggings are from the brand D plus K. Same with the crop and super duper cute so i'm gonna head out and i'll see you guys back here probably for some breakfast so i am just about to make myself some breakfast and before i get started with this video i will also mention if you do enjoy the what i eat in a days be sure to give this one a thumbs up because it lets us know what kind of videos you guys want to see from us if you haven't subscribed already obviously subscribe and if you're looking for more recipe inspiration you want to keep up with what we're doing on a daily basis you should also go and check us out on instagram because that's where we post the most often otherwise i am going to get started with some breakfast and what i'm actually going to make this morning is some banana pancakes. This is actually one of the first ever recipes that I think we posted to this channel and it is super popular to this day but I actually haven't made it in a little while so I think I'm going to go ahead and make some super easy banana pancakes. They're really good as well after a workout because it's the best time really to be having a little bit more sugar, a little bit more carbs so that's what I'm going to be doing. So literally all you're going to need for this recipe is one banana, two eggs, and I'm also going to throw in some collagen peptides. These are the ones by Great Lakes, but you could also use the Vital Proteins collagen peptides. And collagen is great for your hair, skin, nails, and also your gut health, which we are big about on this channel. And I might also throw in a little bit of cinnamon. Walking downtown and I'm okay. He's got it all figured out, that's what they all say, yeah. Everyone's looking at me, thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me, thinking that I'm living. But I don't really care what they all say. It's easy to set me down. That guy, that was a left you out. Now I'm just going to dust these with some cinnamon and also some frozen organic blueberries. So pancakes are obviously done and I actually forgot how good they are. Especially given that the recipe is so simple, you don't need any nut flours or anything like that. And it's something that you can kind of have on a more regular basis because it's so easy to put together. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'll probably go have a shower or something because I feel pretty rank right now. <laughs> and I'll check back in with you guys later. So I have just gotten ready for the day and I'm sitting down with an iced long black and I've also been snacking on some cashews but I'm currently editing our favorites video which will be live before this video so if you haven't watched that video yet go and check it out but yeah that's what I'm gonna do for the next few hours just to get this video all edited and ready to go out this weekend okay so I have basically just been doing a whole bunch of editing this morning but now I am gonna make lunch. It's about 12.31 ish, I think. So for lunch today, I'm just gonna make a salad bowl. It is so, so hot today. So salads are like really suiting the weather at the moment. For this salad, I'm just gonna be using some wild organic rocket as the base. And then I'm gonna to be topping it with a bunch of other things that I'll show you in a second. Some sweet potato, some salmon, some avocado, all of my favorite things pretty much. So yeah. I'll take you through the whole process. I'm gonna start by chopping up some radishes, a little bit of cucumber, and also some chives. Obviously these don't add any calories to the meal, but they just add like, these add a nice little crunch and a little bit of like spiciness. And cucumber as well is just nice because it's nice and fresh and crunchy, which is what I'm after when it's so freaking hot.
And I'm also gonna pop on some sweet potato that I just roast beforehand and I keep in the fridge. So it makes throwing together a salad really super easy. I'm just gonna use heaps of this actually. And then last but not least, I'm gonna just throw in some tinned salmon. You guys will be used to us doing this. The good thing about salmon is that it's a really easy, affordable protein source. It's also got all of our omega-3s in there. And the one that I have today actually is skinless and boneless, which was a mistake because buying the one with the skin and the bones is so much better for you and it's gonna have more calcium in it. I just accidentally picked this one up this time, but Anyway, it's still good. I'm actually going to mix our salmon with our chives just to make it a little bit more tasty. So lunch is done. As you can tell, we have all of the colors of the rainbow inside this bowl. So it's very vibing in there. So we have our salmon mixed in with the chives to kind of play down some of the fishiness of salmon. And then we have the sweet potato and some avocado, which are kind of like the parts that tie it all together because let's be honest, it's probably like the most delicious part of this bowl. And then we have all of our other greens in there. This is another thing that I thought I would mention. With every meal, I aim for like roughly 20, 25 grams of protein. This time it happens to be fish, but it could be, you know, beef or chicken or whatever. But I think especially in kind of like the paleo community, there is kind of this myth that if you're eating this way, that you're eating like steak all day, every day, a steak the size of your face. But I don't really think that's true because as you can tell, like the main thing that's going on in this bowl is actually all of the different veggies and greens that we have. And then also the protein, which is also really important, but I don't think you have to overdo it. So yeah, I am going to eat my lunch. Also, in terms of recipe videos, guys, what kind of things would you prefer to see next? Do you want more lunch ideas, more breakfast ideas, more dinner ideas? Let us know down in the comments so that we can start putting together some recipes that you guys wanna see. So yeah, I am going to eat my lunch now and then I just need to finish off a few like last bits on this video so that I can post it on the weekend. I'll check back in with you this afternoon. So we've jumped through time a bit and I'm about to get started making some dinner. It's not quite dinner time yet, but I'm going to do it a little bit earlier than I normally would just because it's a bit easier to film when there's some natural lights rather than when it's pitch black. So I'm going to get started and tonight for dinner I'm going to be making some healthier paleo nachos. I'll show you all of the ingredients that I'm using, but it's kind of similar to a recipe that I've done in a previous What I Eat In A Day, I think. I do a little salsa that's just like a super fresh tomato, onion, coriander salsa, and then I'm gonna do some beef mint, some guacamole, of course, because what is nachos without guacamole? And then for the chip part, I'm going to do some sweet potato rounds and just do them in the oven. One thing that I really like about doing these nachos is that it feels super healthy, super vibrant, vibrant and super fresh because usually when you do standard nachos you feel a little bit like gross afterwards so I'm gonna get started and yeah we'll see how far we get I'm gonna pick up Nick halfway through so I'll kind of do the first half of the meal and then I'll do the second half of the meal a bit later so first things first I'm gonna make a fresh little salsa so I'm gonna be using two or three of these tomatoes and half of this red onion. I also have some coriander here as well. So just a really simple mix, but this is kind of like the most important part of the nachos in my opinion. So now I am just gonna make some guacamole. So I'm just gonna use one and a half avocados, two cloves of garlic, heaps of salt and pepper, and a little bit of lemon, and it really jazzes it up. So 
The very last thing we're going to do is put together the beef mints. So I have some organic beef mints from the Cleavers brand, which you can find in Woolworths and Coles here in Australia. And to kind of give it some more flavor, I'm going to do half of an onion, three garlic cloves, and I have one chili here. And these chilies are super hot, so one is going to be plenty. And I'm also going to be using a few different spices, but we'll go through those once I'm putting it all together. I will prepare all of these bits and pieces for now. So last but not least, I am going to chop up our sweet potato. And this is gonna be kind of like the base of our nachos. I will preface this with the fact that they're not going to be crispy like a nacho chip, but you know, it's still super yummy and I love my sweet potato. And I'm also just gonna preheat the oven to 180 to 200 degrees fan forced. And I'm just going to slice them into really thin little chips because that gives us the greatest likelihood that they're going to crisp up, especially if the temperature of the oven is quite hot before you put them in. As you can see, I've just popped them onto two different trays and I've made sure that none of them are overlapping. So that's going to increase the likelihood that we'll get them a little bit crispy and not super soggy and sweaty. So I'm just gonna put a very light little drizzle of oil over these and pop them into the oven. So Nick has just gotten home and we've got our little nacho, healthy nacho spread going on. So we have our sweet potato nachos as the base and Nick's got some over here as well. Some of them got a little bit toasty but still good. Then we have our fresh little salsa and some guacamole of course and our beef mints. And Nick actually likes to add some cheese to his so we have some organic cheddar cheese. She's just going to grate over the top of his but yeah that is pretty much it so I'll show you guys what it looks like And with dinner tonight, we are also going to have some kombucha. So this is the Remedy kombucha, the ginger lemon flavor, which we really enjoy. So yeah, and Nick is currently just like putting a mountain of cheese on it. <laughs> it's a mountain. It's not a mountain. <laughs> and I should also mention that we usually do some kind of dessert after dinner, which is usually dark chocolate. For some reason we never get around to that part in the videos, not because like I'm intentionally not showing that to you guys, but usually I'm eating chocolate at like 8.30 and I've already signed off the video, so that's probably what I'm going to have later tonight. So I'm just going to eat my dinner and I'll probably sign off this video here for now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more what I eat in a day videos, let us know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow us on Instagram if you want to see more healthy meal inspo. And other than that, I will see you guys in our next one. Bye guys!